the other part of the album <laughs> was hiding on the same shelf, just behind uh, something else. So because this project expanded um, quite a bit, blew, it blew up basically more than I wanted it to be. I had another album here already that my girls had played with and then they decided they didn't like it. I'm a little sad that the album cover got wrecked, um, but I flipped it over to the back side so it still looks fairly nice. I do plan on eventually getting just another plain black album like the first one and then putting the rest of that, this in that. Um, but obviously I haven't done it yet and I'm already staring down uh, Christmas Daily for 2021. So one of these days I will get to another album. Just another outside of the page protector page die cut. Here's my little Fala La Llama. I love llamas at Christmas. So, excuse me, I had to do something with a llama in it. And I think this is probably just talking about my llama. Maybe not. Maybe it has to do with Christmas music. Anyways, I think it does because here is a picture of some of my favorite Christmas music and a journaling card. I decided to use an envelope that I had in my stash. I added some pattern paper scraps to the inside of it just to decorate it up a little bit. Obviously, I could have done it a little bit better, but I was a novice. Here are a couple of pictures of some Christmas happy mail and then my journaling on the insert on the inside, both sides. These are close to my heart stickers that I used and of course die cuts and uh, my journaling. So those slide in here. Actually, I think I made the envelope myself because it doesn't feel like a regular store-bought envelope does. But that's okay. I was trying to be creative through the entire process putting my album together. Here is a journaling card and a sticker from my stash. Another flip out with lots of journaling again. I stamped the mistletoe and added it to the outside of the page protector as well as the stamp to meet me under the, but I cut everything else with my Cricut. There's journaling on this side as well. Another flip out, actually two flip outs. This is sort of like a waterfall idea. Yep. And uh, some pictures of my Christmas decor and stuff on the tree. And then journaling, of course. Let me flip the page and there is journaling on the outside of the page protector. Everything else is on the inside. Day 20. Some of our favorite things at Christmas, I decided to document and I made a little list. I stamped the background on this cardstock using a close to my heart stamp that I have in my stash. Um, it is actually like a build your own plaid type stamp set. So I stamped this side and I stamped that side as well and then put my journaling over top of it. This was created with my Cricut and then of course there's stamping in the background again. Same as this side as well. Oh yes, so I created a page about the um, Star of the Star of Bethlehem. Um, I know that was a big thing last year. I seem to remember it floating around Facebook. And this is not a picture that I took myself. I found it either online or somewhere on Facebook and took a screenshot of it and then um, added it to my album. Day 24, so we've made it to Christmas Eve, and then day 25. I only did up to day 25 this year. I don't think I'm gonna do the entire Christmas holiday. Um, this is another Cricut image that I actually created myself. I took 
a variety of different images and welded them together. So the presents were actually one image. And I think this is a, no, so just the three presents here. And then I found Santa and made sure he was touching this image here and then welded it all together and it cut as one piece. Um, I made it a little too long because as you can see, it sticks out of the album quite a ways, um, but I'm still quite happy with it. I love how it turned out. And I used the same embossing technique where you emboss over one image multiple times to create a really glossy and shiny finish. Um, I thought it was perfect for glasses. Journaling on the other side, there's a photo here for day 25. And then just another tiny little envelope that I created using my Cricut. Oh, and that's stamped in it, but there's journaling here, not stamped. I hole punched the journaling inside the envelope, so it's going to stay there. Um, but yes, journaling there. And then here are is one more photo and a journaling card that I um, created myself. So there you have it. I am looking forward to diving into December Daily again this year. Do you play along with December Daily and how long do you play along for? Do you play up until Christmas or do you do the entire month of December? Let me know in the comments below. I will be sharing my process um, every day through the month of December, um, creating my pages. I can't remember how I did this the last time, if I created the pages and then added the photos afterwards or if I created every day. Um, I think I did it every day. So stay tuned for that. I think I'll be doing it the same way again this year, but hopefully it won't be two albums worth. <laughs> They're pretty chonky, but I absolutely love this project and um, really enjoyed the deep dive into December and looking at things a little bit more closely and documenting what I'm grateful for and what I love about this season. Thanks for joining me, friends. I'll be back again soon. Bye.